Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a very easy and cheap way to treat your bees for varroa mites using homemade vaporizer, oxalic vaporizer. It's very cheap to build and it's very efficient. I prefer it uh, from the other way, which is dripping oxalic acid, because the oxalic acid, when it's, mixed with, when it's mixed with sugar and in water, it is digested by the bees and it hurts their digestive system. This method is good actually, but it's also harmful for the bees. And uh, I've been doing this for years with my vaporizer and I have uh, very good results. And one of the good thing is that you can do it once a week when, uh, when there is a time for the treatment. With the dripping method, you can do this mostly two or three times in the year. That's why, because it hurts the bees. As I said, their digestive system. With the vaporizer, they don't digest it it's taking on them it's taking on the hive and the raw mites are dead it's still irritating the bees but it's not as uh, as bad as the dripping method so i really love this way and i'm sure i'm going to show you what kind of homemade materials i'm using there are some expensive you know vaporizers which are a few hundred few hundred dollars which uh, you know they burn oxalic acid they vaporize it in in certain temperature around 190 to 100 degrees and uh, you know they're good of course they're good this is the best choice but they're expensive and in this situation i have not too many bees this is not a commercial farm this you know home farm for me and my family and i don't want to invest thousands of dollars for such uh, for such inventory that i'm going to use once per year so the method i'm going to use is still effective and for years it proved that it works perfect for me so let me show you Okay, so for this to work, you need several requirements. First of all, oxalic acid. It's very cheap. It's very cheap. You know, I have a few. There is. I have a few hundred grams. Got it for a uh, for a few euros. So uh, the cost so far for 200 grams is around one euro. Or how much is this in US dollars? You know, around one and a half to two dollars. So. This is for 100 hives. This will be efficient. Another thing you need, heat source. This is a heat gun. It's normal heat gun. You can get it for 10, 15 euros, the same dollars. It doesn't need to be a heat gun. Any other heat source which can get up to or above 200 degrees Celsius. And uh, I will show you what this is in Fahrenheit. Some use blowtorch, some use a lighter, you know. It's lighter, it's, uh, it's very <laughs> time consuming and hard. And where ah yeah, there is you need you know this is I already assembled this because I was using it a few times. You need a little bottle, a glass bottle. You know what what's inside is actually um, is oxalic acid, which actually looks a little bit like crystal meth, but you, trust me, it's not it's oxalic acid. So you need uh, a glass bottle, small glass bottle, a hose, preferably it must be less than a meter. And the way it works, when you take out the glass bottle, you put inside the oxalic acid. Okay, is it focused? Yeah, see there's some oxalic acid in there. You screw it to the hose, and the other part of the hose goes inside your hive. This hive is actually very difficult, but uh, I'll do it. Usually you put the holes on the bottom part, fill all the other holes, and you apply heat to the glass bottle. By doing this, the vaporizer is getting inside the hive, going up, 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 and it's getting out from the top entrance, vaporizing everything inside. It may irritate the bees, but it's nothing in, compar in comparison with the dripping method, which can harm them. And if you increase your dose a little bit, you will kill half your bees or even more. So, well, in preparation about the hive, Okay, let's leave this here for a minute. You need to close every entrance. I use screen bottom board, so I close this. So can you see, can we do? Yes, you see, there is, it's a solid board now because I don't want the vaporizer just to, you know, leave the hive. This here is not screen bottom board. I will prepare this by putting something solid on the bottom. 
and you need only one entrance for the hot air vaporizer to come in you are not harming the bees there are some other methods which are you like uh, putting something like a what is it called it's like a metal spoon aluminum spoon which is heated by a 12 or 24 volts of battery and you put it in the bottom part when you once you put it there uh, it starts to heat but if you wiggle it around a little bit more and there are a lot of bees in this hive they're around 10 frames yes this is a 10 frame hive and if you wiggle it about more you may agitate the bees and they'll think it's an intruder and they'll start to attack the aluminum heater the vaporizer oh they're bringing lots of pollen so, and once they attack it this heater is is heated you know it's vaporizing and they'll attack it and they'll certainly die so you have to be careful with that i'm not saying it's 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 bad but you know everything has its uh, consequences the only downside with this with the bottle and the, and the whole thing is you have to adjust the temperature because the oxalic acid must be heated at around 190 to 200 degrees celsius if it's heated more than that let's say 300 degrees celsius it will you know some say it uh, it destroys the oxalic acid it's not as effective but uh, you know this can be regulated and i do regulate it with this it's a regular heat gun what i love about it it, it has uh, three different levels let me see zoom and the first level is around 200 degrees celsius second is 400 and the third one is 600 so i'm certain i'm certain that the degrees i apply to the to the vaporizer is exact so what you do now after you've covered the bottom part is to apply some kind of cloth just so you close the entrance and you leave only one in this hive i use the middle entrance you know it's it's not good to do it with the middle one but i do this um, this is my third week i do this and why I do it every week because i catch every brood cycle what do you mean by brood cycle is that the varroa mites they're using the cells of the hive to multiply let's see there are some kind of bees going by their business and uh, they're using the you know the the comb to multiply drop eggs and get on the bees and so on so by doing this every week you make sure that when the bees get out from their cells you treat them with the vaporizer with the dripping method you do this somewhere in late autumn let's say october november depending on the region and you do it then because it's it's believed that most of the brood, you know, has left the cells and the cells are empty. So when you treat it with varroa mites, you can kill almost, you know, most of them, but not all of them. And, uh, but if there is some kind of brood remained, in most cases there are, uh, the varroa mites, they will stay there and they will multiply and they will stay in your hive in the cozy winter. So you have to take care of that. Now, let me show you how it works without entering into the hive and we'll talk about it so you put the right amount of oxalic acid inside your bottle screw it to the holes and uh, you know you don't worry about the about the holes getting uh, warm or whatever it's not going to light because this glass is actually a very bad conductor and you start heating it So once you put the right amount, some is dependent on the B frames and the size of the hive and it will start to evaporate from the other side and this will go in your hive let me stop just for a second and show you how it works and you see i'm touching the holes it's not warm it's nothing 
you see it's starting to evaporate actually I should evaporate all of it just so when I treat the hives I have the right amount of dose this is vapor and it comes right from this side so let's see how it's inside the hive so this is the setup it's very simple it's very fast now that the tube is inside to use the middle one I've closed the entrance as much as I can you know I lose the I use the entrance reductor some bees you know are trying to get inside but you can't get them all one way to get them all the bees is do it this very early in the morning or in the evening so what is happening right now is I'm heating the oxalic acid to the desired temperature you know in this temperature around it takes around a minute you see it's already starting to, to vaporize a little bit and of course uh, because it's a vapor you have to keep your distance because it's very it's very aggressive oxalic acid is it's very harmful to you so once I heat it I leave the heat gun like this it will do its job, it will heat it for a few minutes bees don't get near it or at least they don't want to get near it see this, this actually can be done so I do this check if and I'll come back in a few minutes and see what's going on so also look it's bubbling Now the vapor going inside. So here we are 50 minutes after treatment. In the meantime I was you know cutting the lawn, tidying up the place. And now let's see. You see there? Uh, where is it? A mite, 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 another one mite. This is, and I tell you, this is 15 minutes or half an hour, I don't know how much it took me, to get this, these guys out of the bees. You know, this is not a, you know, a appropriate way to test if you have uh, mites. Best way is to get a proper check and not with a screen board but this I just put it to show you you know the, it, this is the real deal this is the vaporizer is the real deal you know it's your choice how you treat your bees but you, this actually gets most of them uh, I mean three and four times per month and it is once per week so in a, in a time lapse of an entire month I will cover the entire brood cycle let's say in a week uh, new worker bees are hatched uh, the exposed varroa mites are then killed next week is the same, the same, the same, the same and so when you cover three or four weeks of a complete lifespan of a, of a brood cycle then you know you will kill most of the mites so uh, this way you can be certain that uh, the bees are happy for the winter yeah, you, look, uh, they got a little bit, uh, you know, angry but they know I love them. Yeah, I opened up a little bit the entrance there, but they'll close it with propolis. So this is it. I'll put this back in. And as I see here, I use uh, entrance, uh, which is uh, for the ventilation because I don't want the bees to get wet in winter. So I'll clean this up. Perhaps I'll check it uh, a week later. And maybe I'll give you an update there, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, on, a quick, on a quick check I can see here there are around 10 mites. 10 mites after 15 to 20 minutes of treatment. If you do the dripping method, this will not work. So thanks for watching guys. And see you next time. Bye bye.